All right, here we are outside of 1340 Pine Valley Road. Again, just a very private, quiet neighborhood. There's no reason to be back here unless you know where this street is. So very private, um, but you also have the access with Pioneer right there. Lots of parking up here, unless you wanted to put grass or something, but lots of extra parking. This property does sit on a quarter acre and again, backing on a forest over here. So wait till you see that view. Um, bear box. They do have kind of a downward slope here. So the grate is good for drainage. Um, and then no stairs to your entry. Just a little step up. Sorry about that. A little step up here, but nothing that Jack couldn't handle. A nice big deck right off the bat. Um, you could easily sit out here and just enjoy. You're kind of tucked away from the street and down, so that's kind of nice. The roof appears to be in great condition. Definitely newer. Um, exterior paint looks good. There's another stairway here. There is a little step down there, but again, something not too too big of a deal there. And then another little step down here that takes you to stairs to get down below the deck. Um, really cute house. Let's go see inside. These sellers too have a really neat style as you'll see. You can tell with the color in the door. Um, and once you see all the artwork in here. So when you first walk in, you have a coat closet to the left and a cute little one right here. So you can just hang it up. Coming into the living room, kitchen area, a nice open feeling. Uh, they redid the floors. And again, they do kind of have like bigger furniture in here, but it still fits and it's cozy. Um, you could scale down a little bit and it be a little bit more open, but they just have really cool, neat, um, kind of like Aztec furniture to the gas fireplace with a beautiful mantle. Um, that's really unique. Lots of natural light and windows. They do have the blinds on them, the newer blinds. So if you want those for privacy, it's there or open them up and you know, have, have the light shine through. Recessed lighting throughout. Um, the floor is slightly kind of squishy right here but it could just be this, the um, underlay that they have. They might've gone a little too thick. It's not squeaky. It's just, you can kind of feel it different levels, if you will. Um, but dining area into your kitchen, all new appliances, gas stove. Um, and then I mean, that's your, that's your view with the window. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's take a better look at that. So coming out onto your deck. Just absolutely stunning. So this is Twin Peaks over here. And I mean, that's more like that is how you see it with the naked eye. Um, so gorgeous. You'll see all the storms coming in. That's generally the way they come over. Sunsets right behind Talac. So you'd have absolutely beautiful sunsets throughout the year. And then zoom out here. So you, there we go. See, it's just, you know, pretty steep, but you could also use it as a toboggan hill in the winter. <laughs> um, the neighbors are over there, but they have their blinds closed. I mean, it seems that they are not um, full-time either. The closest house this way is way down there, so you don't have to worry about them. And then, again, on this part of the deck, 
And this deck is sturdy. I'm walking pretty heavy. That's sturdy. And then they don't even have a deck over there, so you wouldn't have to worry about those neighbors. You can hear the chipmunks going off. Again, the roof is in good shape. Just a really nice deck. Plenty of room for a table. They have, obviously have a sitting area. Um, there's the French doors on that side that open up to the living room and the French doors on this side that open up to what I would assume is kind of like the master suite. But gorgeous views. So just to get an idea of what it could be like here if you open both doors. You know, again, we don't have a lot of bugs up here, so I would have it wide open like that all the time. And there, you're just looking right out at those boulder field of Twin Peaks. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, moving right along through the kitchen. Lots of cabinet space. Um, another little walkway here to the outside deck. This looks like an owner's closet. It's got the lock, it's locked. Um, so if, they, if you were renting it out, this is a downstairs full bathroom. Um, I imagine this is what you guys would use for your master area when you're using the property. They have this kind of set up as an office sitting room great um, space right off of, I'm going to call this one the primary. Plenty of room for a king size bed. You have his and her closets over here. So that's nice again with the recessed lighting, lots of natural light there. And then these open up as well. So you could have this open all the time and just kind of be living inside outside which is rare you know you don't see that often so to be that close to nature and literally in the trees is um, amazing I'll finish that later though and then here is your laundry room lots of folding space um, you could use this as a little workshop area just a lot of bonus room right there they did take it away from the garage space so the garage is not big enough to park in oh, i don't have a light here it's more of a storage i'm going to say it's about 10 feet deep so Yeah, about 10 feet deep, so you definitely could not fit a vehicle in here. Um, but you gain this laundry suite, so could you convert it back if you really wanted the garage? Absolutely. Um, even just bump it out to the, I'm not sure, whatever, whatever you decide to do, but they have it as a laundry room now and, and it seems to work well. stairs you have the vaulted ceiling right here so it really opens up this space newer carpet they've definitely taken great care of this property um, let's start this way bedroom number two nice size queen size bed lots of room and closet over to bedroom three, same thing, just reversed. Closet space, new carpet throughout. Into bedroom four, which is the biggest probably of them all. Um, it does have the barn ceiling, so Cute. lots of light as well nice 
this big closet. And I mean, you could turn this one into like a bonus living room if you didn't want to use all the bath or all the bedrooms, but four bedrooms is great for rental. And you do have a shower upstairs. It's tiny, but I mean, it's here, it works. And it would service these three bedrooms. So great to have, really neat wallpaper, the little owls. Um, I did notice that the fan is pretty loud, but you could probably mediate that, quick fix. Um, but yeah, fan up here to keep the air circulating. There's the attic space. I mean, I really feel like this is a, a great find. Um, and I think it could really be a great house for you guys. It kind of checks all the boxes. You have the front deck, you have this nice open space, gorgeous fireplace, um, new appliances, master wing. Um, and then again, I know that the natural light is really important to you. And this house does have an abundance of it, especially with these um, French doors. I mean, it's, it's amazing. And all of the privacy and um, tranquility of the, the back deck here on the forest. I think it's fantastic. So hopefully you can come up tomorrow. I will get one of my girls to meet you here and you can see for yourself, okay? All right, have a great day. One more look at Twin Peaks. Here we are. <laughs> That's the view.